Welcome to I God Today on this 13th Thursday in Ordinary Time. I'm Sister Jean. Many countries pride themselves on and celebrate being independent from their original colonizers. In today's readings, Abraham in Genesis is very dependent on God in humble compliance with that awful test of obedience to sacrifice his son, Isaac. Perhaps the shock to us of this demand can be tempered a bit by the fact that child sacrifice was not uncommon in earlier times and places. Nevertheless, this child was Abraham's only child who God had earlier promised would be the start of a huge family and lineage. This is no way to start that family, that nation. But Abraham trusted in God's will and not his own. Abraham answered his son, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Perhaps we could parallel this story with the United States and other countries today and their trust in God for decisions about life and death. Do we have this kind of dependence on God? Or do we instead play God independently, deciding who will live and who will die? Yes, I refer to tough life issues like abortion, euthanasia, and the death penalty, where values conflict on all sides. We need to ponder deeply that divine injunction, thou shalt not kill. In the Gospel from Matthew today, Christ declares his divinity, his divine power as God to forgive sin, and backs it up by an outward sign of a miraculous healing, that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. Christ is definitely in charge here as God, and God is for life. O oh God, bless the U.S., bless Abraham's nation, and bless all the peoples of the world. Keep us in defense of all life, from womb to tomb. Give us your reverence for creation and guide our decisions with your wisdom. Lakayam to life. We ask this through Christ, your loving, healing Son. Amen. Let it be.